Welcome to episode 17 of the One Defense Hardcore Iron Man series. So today uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of Slayer. This episode I'm going to be doing a lot of Slayer, trying to boost out that occult. And we're also going to be doing some various skilling grinds as well. Um, just mainly due to our bad, <laughs> our bad dry streak last week on Cox. But yeah, anyways, let's uh, go ahead and get a new task to open up the week. And not do Fire Giant. Ooh, I only have 30 points. Big yikes. What do we got? Black Dragons. Okie dokie. Hey, so it's been a bit since I've actually recorded. I just realized that. I'm sorry. Um, it's hard to get back into recording for Slayer clips. I don't know if I should just be recording every single clip or what. But anyways, um, we've did we've done quite a bit so far, and I haven't actually updated you on. Um, we're almost 50 mil thieving. Trying to finish that off as well. And then uh, I'm trying to finish off 99 Mage today on stream as well. Um, just started the stream, so it should be no problem. Uh, 293k off of 91 Slay as well. So, yeah, I'm probably going to... Uh, I don't know. I'll probably just record every clip again like I used to to kind of spread out the video a little bit because I know you guys like longer videos because the last video is like 12 minutes long. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, try to get a Necrail task and I get Greater Demons. Damn it. All right, Dusty's done. I really want Necrail just to finish off this level. I'm currently 173k off, so let's see what we can get. And Q are burstable, so it's a little bit more Mage XP, but still not quite what I'm looking for. But we'll get a little bit closer with this task at least. All right, Anku finished. Now we get Necrail. Please... Fire Giants. Alright, we're going to Birth Orb. Be right back. There we go, quick and easy. Skipped it, and now we're getting Fire Giants again. God damn it. Cancel with the Lizard Task. That task fucking sucks. Please give me Dust. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, this will be the last task before 99 Mage. Hell yeah. 151k off. I'm pretty sure I got 151k XP in 246 of these. So, yeah, next clip you see will probably be me getting 99 Mage. So, here we go. The uh, miscalculated a little bit. 66k off 99. I thought that task would get me, but I forgot how bad Dusty suck compared to Necrail. So please, just give me something. Ah, uh, Steel Dragons, rip. All right, round two. Let's try this again. Cargs, damn it. All right, canceled it with Cal's, and then we got Anku. Another task that I can burst, but it's just not enough XP to finish off nine and nine. So I'm gonna cancel it and try for next again. Okay, let's try again. Oh, I hate canceling tasks like these. It just really sucks. Kurask are really good, and I still need my Leaf Blade of Battle Axe, but I really want to finish that today, so back to canceling. Okay, we'll try again. Ah, damn. This task boosting actually is kind of... It's really efficient. It's really nice, but I just can't, for some reason, get a fucking task that I can mage. Man. Okay, come on. Oh, you trolling, Neve. God dang it. All right, come on, Neve. Abyssal Demons, finally. That's good. Hey, I decided I'm going to get one more raid into this week and uh, finish 99 Mage in raids, but for now, I'm going to get a new task to see what it is, and then I'll let you know um, how that task goes on mobile tonight because I'm going to be doing Gargoyles. Awesome. So uh, that'll be some nice money, but yeah, for now, I'm going to go into raids and get 99 Mage, and then we're going to follow it up by getting a Kodai. Hell yeah. God damn it, I didn't realize it was that close. Like, I knew I was that close, but I completely forgot I was getting 99 in raids. So, yeah, there's, uh... <laughs> there's 99 mage. God damn it, dude. Well, yay. Wasn't expecting that one, but... Hooray. Alright, here we go. It's probably one of my favorite capes, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it here. Don't need two of them. I know they used to buy two of them, but I don't need to buy two. Well, here we are. My favorite cape. Like, at least the design of it. I love the white and blue. So clean, but... Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, second 99, finally done on the account. I thought it had happened a lot sooner than that, but there we go. You know, I've actually never done the thieving cape emote on this character. <laughs> um, don't mind me, just 50 mil thieving. Never done the emote, but yeah. So we'll go ahead and do it real quick. Look at that trimmed thieving cape. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, another 99 down. Now let's try to finish off strength. I don't know if I'm going to finish off this week. Uh, I'll get 300, 300k off at the moment, but yeah. Anyways, four months into the account, finally got our second 99. <laughs> We're going to start pumping out a lot of 99s here very soon, but yeah. Uh, 189k off 91 slay. We're going to start doing some more slay and uh, finish off these guard tasks. I can finally move over to whip slay soon, so yeah. Well, at least I can actually switch my spellbook now, so that's really nice. 
doing a bit of slay as well. I haven't really been updating much. Um, I did some mobile slay last night and also did some thieving as well. We're pretty much 50 mil thieving, so there's that goal knocked out of the way finally, so you guys can stop bothering me about it. Finally did it. Uh, I know I've been saying for a couple episodes I was going to finish it off, so there you go. I did. Nice. Uh, so, got another whip. That's really good. Uh, I was I down to like 5k charges left on my tent whip, so that's just a really nice to have, so... Yeah. Uh, we're about to start Whip Slayer soon. We're 98 strength. Uh, to update you on the stats, um, 63k off 91 slay. So I think getting 92 this week is doable. Uh, depends on what I'm going to be doing uh, later this week. But yeah, uh, I've been talking with the stream a bit. I think what I'm going to be doing is uh, once I hit 93 slay, I'm going to move over to Zora. So that's going to be some really manga content, but really good content, for, especially for the YouTube series. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to update on. So I'll let you know what I get for next task. And hopefully, I don't know why it says Cargs, but. Um, hopefully get a nice task to kind of speed up the slate today for a bit, but I also kind of get not literally too low on money, but, um, I get into that danger zone where I'm finally getting under the green milk or the green cash stack, so probably going to make some money soon as well. We'll see, but for now, uh, I'm just going to keep slaying and, uh, see what we get. I've also started doing my brew prep as well. I have like, uh, 500 brews at the moment. I'm going for probably 700 today, so yeah, that'll probably knock out 80 herb relatively soon, so that's all I wanted to update you on. See you in the next clip. Okay, we're starting to get points again. That's good. So, anyways, new task. Spectres. <laughs> well, we just started getting our points again, and we're already going to start canceling shit. I hate Spectres. But we got Abyssal Demons again, so we're going back. <laughs> God damn it. Another Abyssal Demon task down, and we're getting another one. Necrail, please. Ooh, Gargoyles. Good. I was actually just talking about how I need to get some money, so Gargoyles would be a really nice task to do that. So, let's go kill some Gargs. Ooh, that was a long task. All right, let's get a new one. Necrail, please. Or cow fight. Hmm, okay. Well then, so we're, um, we're coming towards the end of a stream today, and I want to go ahead and do another raid, like always. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and knock out 77 herb lore, so there we go. 77 herb. So now I can make stamina pots that happen to boost, which is really freaking nice. But the biggest thing this unlocks for me, of course, is using a botanical pie. And we can actually withdraw. Uh, I should have nests in here somewhere. Oh, I've got to crush them real quick. But, yeah, I can now actually make my brews, which is really, really, really freaking nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and crush these, make some brews for the raids. Uh, I, I can actually take these over to Narda and crush them as well, all of the, the entire stack, but uh, for 50 coins each. But this is, uh, yeah, this is just going to be amazing. So, I'm going to bring in brews in the raid for the first time, so that's going to be awesome. But, yeah, anyways, I'll make these for you real quick and show you. So, here we go. 14 pots. And then, I don't know where the crush nests are. There we go. Oh, yeah. Good feeling right here. And <laughs> nice. Okay, so I have a lot of nest supplies banked. Um, I actually probably have a little over 80 uh, Herblore banked as well. So, just going to make a few brews right now, but eventually I'm going to make all of those that we have stacked at the moment. We have, uh, what, 2.7k nests. Uh, so we'll probably, I'm going to keep doing birdhouse runs as well, but we should end with about 3 to 4k net, or bird, uh, brews after we're finished all this, so. Yeah, anyways, going to go ahead and do a raid real quick. Hopefully we get something. I guess we'll see. Again, of course, because I do a lot of mobile slayer, but as you can see here, I don't know if I told you, but I got 98 strength. I don't know if I did that in the last clip or not, but, um, yeah, I'm 591k off of 99, so probably going to get this as episode. Uh, we're almost under 1 mil eight, or XP until 9 on HP as well. And we are 550k off of 92 slay pog jam. All right, so what I'm going to do before I get a new task is I'm just going to talk to Neve real quick. I'm going to change my uh, combat settings back to being strictly to my combat because I realize that I haven't. Uh, there we go. Haven't had neck rail since 90 slayer. That's my first time having. It. I just had a neck task, and that's my first one since 90 slay. And I realize it's because I've had my combat settings not on here restricted. So um, now I'm going to try to get a nice burst task, which I did. Got abyssal demon, so that's really good. Hopefully we can, can uh, get a lot of burst tasks to finish off this level, but yeah, I also need to finish that level on strength as well, but yeah. Anyways, time to do a farm run, and then we're going to go do some Abyssal Demons. Be right back. Demons quick and easy. I wish I would have gotten a whip there, but I did just get a whip last task, so I can't really be greedy. But anyways, let's get a new one. I'm getting low on death runes. Manka. Cow fight. Nice. Sat there and world hopped forever trying to make this, but I finally got it. Five more potions here, and we're done. We don't have to buy any more botanical pies. We'll make any more botanical pies for the longest fucking time. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, well. That's actually awkward as fuck. Okay, anyways, as I was saying. <laughs> there's 78 herbivore. 
Um, yeah, so now we can actually make all the Buchu's pots in the raids. We don't have to bring botanical pies in there anymore. And now we have a fuck ton of brews in the bank as well to use for raids. So that's really awesome. Anyways, gonna go do a couple of raids right now to kind of wrap up the stream for the day. Then we're gonna do some ca that cow fight task on mobile, get some strength gains, and I'll keep you updated. Move another Hespori down, only 118. I, I literally noodled all of my DDS specs, unfortunately, so didn't get a good PB. I, I was so close. I would have been a really good kill if I just would have got a good spec, but... Anyways, another Hespori down. That's number 33. We already have the bucket, so I don't see we're just going for pet at this point, but... Uh, ISR? Yeah, ISR and Toad Flax. Nothing special from that, but... Oh, well. Anyways, we have something uh, special to do here. Um... Yeah, so last night I uh, grinded pretty fucking hard, and here we are. 4 XP off of 99 strength, so... Yeah, it's currently Friday, so I have the weekend to uh, do some raids as well, but... Yeah, that's awesome. We got the big goal we wanted to get this week, so... Gonna go ahead and get that level. Uh, not right this minute, but I could. Uh, I'm going to uh, probably go somewhere unique and do it, I guess, but... We'll see. I don't know. Uh, 9 strength isn't really that big of an accomplishment, just a nice little achievement to have, but... Yeah, we'll see, but... Raid time. I'll let you know in the next clip when I get 99 strength uh, what the plan is for the day. But yeah, I'm also 794k off 99 HP as well, so that's pretty nice. Uh, probably gonna get that next week though. I I could squeeze that into this episode, but that would mean I wouldn't be able to raid it all this weekend, and I'd have to grind Slayer like crazy. So yeah. Anyways, let's go get 99 strength. Actually, didn't even know that this fucking door gave strength XP. But there we go. 99 strength. I guess I did get it in a unique way. That, that happened out of nowhere. I was actually just going to come here and lamp it. I pushed the door open and got 99, so... God damn it. But, anyways. Yay! 99 strength. Awesome. Okay, let's talk to this dude, and, uh... Cool. Awesome. Well, there we go. Another 99 down. Why is it on teleport? What the fuck? Alright, there we go. Yet another 99. Second 99 this week. Freaking nice. Oh, that's really clean. Really, really clean. Alright, cool. That's exactly what I wanted. So now we're almost 99 HP as well. 794k off. And, uh... Never seen that before. So defo unique. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know that that thing gave fucking strength XP. How was I supposed to know the opening of a gate would give it? Oh, YouTube. I also forgot to update you as well. When I use this, uh, when I use this little herb thingy here. Uh, last night I also got... 50 mil thieving. So I'm 112 thieving, Kappa. But yeah, 50 mil. So we're a quarter of the way there. Yay. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely going to be on thieving burnout for a little bit, though. I'm probably going to switch over to do something else. Uh, probably doing some runecrafting really soon. But for now, uh, that's the that was the main goal. Um, I've had that goal for a couple of weeks. I'm sorry I kind of took a little bit to get that knocked out of the way. But yeah, there we go. 50 mil thieving. Pog jam. Number 70. Not bad points for double bow, double lance, and a quick raid. Three combat, two skill, but... Eh. Number 70. Still nothing. Rip. There we go. 75 kill count down. Uh, these raid points are just, like, it's not, the points aren't the issue at all. Like, we're not having any problem with the points. Like, I'm not getting sniped for drops or anything like that. It's just, like, uh, I'm not getting any drops at all. Like, I'm not seeing drops. I don't know what the hell the issue is. I, I don't know. My RNG just feels, like, really shitty on this account. Like, everything I've done so far in this series has been nothing but shit RNG. So, I think... I don't know. It sucks. Like, if I get to 100 kill count, still don't have a drop, um, or see a drop, then, uh, we're gonna have some problems. I may actually stop doing raids for a bit after that. Maybe try out luck at Zolra as well, but we'll see. But, yeah, yet again, another dry streak, so. 75 kill count, let's do another 5. Here we go, kill count number 85. I don't know if I've been recording much of the clips. I don't think I have, actually, but there's number 85, so 15 away from 100. Still nothing, uh, we're averaging pretty nice points, though. Like, that was 18.1k there. Still nothing, though. I'm not even seeing drops, though, so unfortunately nothing really I can do, but... Yeah, there's uh, my updated stats for you. I'm probably going to have one more clip or so this episode, and that's going to be pretty much the wrap-up for the week. Uh, next episode, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, honestly. Probably focusing more on Slayer and trying to finish off that 93, but... Yeah, a lot done so far this week, though. Um, I tried to... I did a little bit of range earlier as well, so 144k off 89. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, whip slay at work and then some range slay as well. Uh, just kind of trying to just polish up the rest of the max here. That'd be really nice to finish that off, but... Yeah, uh, not a bad team. I've been doing a couple of masses. I've been doing, like, trying everything. Five plus threes, you know, four plus fours. Like, I've been trying to doing scaled ohms. That was, like, an 88k point raid. Kind of a manka raid. But so, And then sometimes I'll just raid with new guys. Like, I haven't raided with these guys before. Um, but, yeah. Unfortunately, still nothing. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah. I'll uh, see you in the next clip. All right, up, wrapping up episode 17 already. I'm sorry if the clips are starting to feel stagnant and repetitive due to the distance between the levels, but I'm doing my best to keep up with the weekly video regimen that I've been sticking to for the entire series so far. 
especially with raiding. These uh, raids are averaging 20 to 30 minutes each and take even longer sometimes putting together a team or just finding a good raid. Uh, it's safe to assume that I've completed, um, let's see, a completed raid is probably about an hour of time on average if you if you wanted to, to you know, kind of map out the time for it. So uh, that being said, I'm currently at 87 raid KC and I'll try to be aiming for about 100 by the end of next week. Uh, that being said, I still have... I haven't had anything at all. I haven't seen it anything since that Dex uh, back at 48 kill count and the Buckler at 1 kill count. And that's it. And this is the only thing I've seen. I haven't seen anything else and I haven't gotten anything in my name. So really, really bad. It's almost statistically impossible with how bad my raid luck's been. But uh, it's just, yeah. Uh, I changed my name in game in hopes to test the theory of the, the new name, new RNG theory that people have. I did freak out a lot of people about that. Um, and uh, people were thinking that I lost my hardcore status, and it made me realize that whenever it actually does happen, people are going to be pretty shook up about it. So to prepare you for that moment, I do want to let you know that I'm moving over to the PVM side of the account very soon, uh, which includes attempting to finish Zolra on this account. And uh, I've been asked this before, but never actually clarified fully what would happen if I lost a status this far into the series. Uh, the issue with a lot of the hardcore I'm in that I've seen with the series in this game is that once the status is lost... Their account loses its snowflake feeling pretty much due to it being a normal Iron Man, and basically people think that everything's been done on Iron Man. So, yeah, it's it kind of sucks. <laughs> but yeah, uh, luckily in my case, even though even if I do lose my status, my pure still retains all the snowflake, uh, I guess, ability just just because of the build that I'm running and the goals that I have. Um, there are a couple of other one defense Iron Man in the game, but none of them are actually running the same build as me or have the same in game stats or goal as I do. Um, that being said as well um for the some reason or if, yeah i don't know next week if, if i do lose my status next week i, I don't know next week if, if i do lose my status next week to either a zolra dc a server lag if i lose it getting my d pick to kbd getting my elder chaos robes or even if i get killed getting my major in a two cape i'll still continue with the goal of maxing total with one defense again and uh, i'll have the goal of remaining uh, to finish all the pets and inferno and theater of blood so basically if i lose my status you have nothing to worry about uh, currently, it's just mainly a trophy to brag about, and if anything, the, the hardcore status is actually slowing me down and making me a little bit more inefficient um, with some of the things I could be doing already, especially with raids. So, yeah, I'm not really too worried about it. So, uh, the hardcore status is just a tra uh, just basically a chapter in this series. Um, yeah, eventually I will probably lose it, just letting you know. If I do max total somehow with one defense, that'd be really cool, but I probably will end up losing it, so... Anyways, sorry again for the shorter than normal video. I will remain, or I will uh, remind you again that all these videos are literally purely for people that can't watch the series live on Twitch or just some uh, if, if they miss some streams and want caught up or something. Um, I don't mon monetize these videos, and they aren't made for any profit, anyways. But I do appreciate the likes and views in the videos, and uh, definitely make sure you like this video, of course. But yeah, if you haven't just subscribed, do so. I upload a new episode every Sunday, <clears throat> and I haven't missed one yet, by the way. Any, anyways, uh, even if the con content does kind of suck, I will try to get these episodes every single Sunday for you. So, yeah. See you guys next Sunday, I guess. And uh, have a wonderful week. And uh, keep the game strong.